from me, Barry Gibson. Look forward to the next time. Well, a very good evening to you once again. Back to Division 6, Morton Wreck, the return game with Norley. And, uh, well, it's not really decided because I think uh, Wharton Wreck are uh, uh, well in front uh, now and it's just a matter of playing this game out. And failing a disaster, I think uh, Wharton Wreck have definitely won the league with um, a good ball from Chris Jackson there. Chris playing, uh, playing Jill, Jill Sandbrook. He used to know uh, Jill's husband many years ago, I worked with him actually. Very nice chap. And uh, Jill's just short there. So uh, let's see what Chris does here. Chris Jackson bowled at the wreck a long time ago and has uh, returned this year in this new mid Cheshire team. So that's uh, one to Chris there. One to Chris Jackson. Okay, we join again here with Paul Hatton, who's uh, playing Tony Street in this evening. A lovely evening. It's not sunny, but it's warm, quite pleasant. Bit of cloud about, but uh, also some nice blue sky about. And a uh, nice evening to be watching and marking bowling. So while I'm filming, I'm also marking a card here for uh, my mate Chris Jackson. So I have to keep my eye on the, uh, the scores as well. So I might be focusing a little bit on Chris <laughs> with a view to uh, making sure I get the card right. Ah, here we have uh, Lorna Shackleston, who's playing Barbara Bryan this evening. And uh, that's two to Chris. Well, there has been one or two remarks about Walton Rep being in Division 6, being a far too good of a team for Division 6, but they've only joined the league this season after a period of about five years away from uh, um, the Mid Cheshire League. And the league have put them in Division 6, so. Um, I don't think the uh, comments are in order myself because you can only go where the league puts you and although I think from the beginning of the season they were certainly on for a promotion uh, they have to progress as the authorities dictate and uh, they'll go up into Division 5 and who knows further they may even stay in Division 5 they'll find their own level though which is the fair way to do it of course but uh, I'm afraid the uh, officials can't win really, can they? You know, if they'd have put them in a higher league and it would have displaced one of the other teams and there'd have been grumbles or if you put them in the lower league and of course you get grumbles the other way around but uh, you can never win, can you? That's the thing about bowling. Somebody always has a differing point of view. Oops, that was a sad look there with Jill. She just... Uh, Bowled up there and hit her own short ball. So, uh, right. Oh, Chris is uh, just giving Alice Sutton a hug there. That's what sort of a friendly club Barton Wreck is these days. <laughs> There's Alice, of course, wife of uh, Arnold Sutton, who uh, bowls at uh, Meadowbank, just down the road here from Winsford, and uh, plays at the Wreck in the Norley League along with myself and others on a Wednesday evening. Right, we'll try and follow up on one or two of the other people as we go through, but uh, as I say, I am uh, tending to have a look at some of Chris's ends with a view to uh, keeping uh, a correct tab on my card as well that I'm marking. Quite a few uh, watching this evening. Nice to see Neil Carter here. Played at the wreck when I uh, played at the wreck a few years ago and. Neil's uh, hoping to come back again next season, 2012, in Mid Cheshire. Be good to see him, of course. And uh, as I say, Alice Sutton there. Arnold's husband with the uh, maroon coat on that. And um, Brian Davis next to him there, Brian. And the, uh, and the crowd, as to say. There's Chris again. Let's have a look what he's doing here with this one. Yeah, good ball. Good ball. Bowling like a homester. <laughs> Here's Jill Sandbrook. She's 
She's bowled for many years at Gnarly. That's Jill. And uh, oh, it's the block. Mix two. Black balls on me. It's two, Chris. It is two. Yeah. 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 I didn't know what. Misinformation, John. John Wells, the captain here of the team, giving misinformation to his players. Two to Joe. Okay. Two to Joe. Well, I know it's a big bowling green, is Walton Rep, but um, what's Brian Davis doing with binoculars? I can't believe it. It's not that big. <laughs> I can't believe it. Well, Brian. I didn't think the bowling green was that long. You with binoculars. Oh, it's a camera. Oh dear. Oh, sorry about that. I thought you'd. I thought you'd got binoculars there. No. I think Steve's got a fan club down there on the fence. Uh, Raymond Brooklyn. Well, a very good evening to you. Bit of a change for me this evening. Usually I'm uh, videoing Wharton Con's games, but this evening just fancied a change. So I've come along to Norley for the Mid Cheshire game, Division 6 game between uh, Wharton Con's A and uh, Norley for this evening. It's Division 6 Mid Cheshire. 22nd of September and uh, the two teams are both well positioned in the league with Wharton Rack a top Division 6 with 5-5-6-1 and Norley, Norley B the team this evening Wharton Rack are playing a 5-3-7-4 and Kelso 5-1-9-2 so Wharton Rack We've got quite a good uh, advantage over an Oli B, but um, everything can change, of course, as there are two games to play this evening, the 22nd, and tomorrow, the 23rd, uh, at Walton Rec. Right, we're just having a look here at uh, Keith Hitchin and uh, Chris Jackson, who's playing Eddie Riley this evening. Eddie in the blue shirt there. So, uh, Let's watch a bit of the bowl in here. Nice change to uh, include a Division 6 game. Right, we've got Paul Hatton playing for Walton right there, just uh, sending his bowl across the green. Who's uh, playing a lady called Sybil from, uh, from Norley. Just uh, lies at the side of the jack there. Sybil has already 
we've got more or less the touching bowl. And uh, here's the second coming in here. No, nope, one down. Paul's only one down. Sybil's let him off there. Here's Jill Sandbrook. Played for Norley quite a long time. Playing uh, Lorna Jefferson. Who's uh, joined Wharton Rec this year. Wharton Rec were out of the league for quite a number of years. About five years they dropped out of the league and uh, they've reintroduced the team this season which is a very very good team for Division 6 hence of course that's why they're top of the league and um, they'll no doubt progress up I would think myself anyway probably to Division 3 or 4 I would imagine in a year or two if players keep coming along I keep hearing little whispers that uh, other players are thinking of going along to Wharton Rec and if they do and Wharton Rec will definitely have a, uh, a good season next season as they've had this uh, up to present the Wharton Rec A team in the Norley League and the Wharton Rec B team in the Norley League have both been promoted they both won the leagues and um, also I think uh, the um, a Sandbach A team they uh, also uh, came second in their league and one of the other teams um, have also um, been promoted as well so quite a good season for Wharton Rec this year We'll be collecting, I think it's about three or four, well, four lots of money, I'm sure. Provided this goes well, of course, this mid Cheshire one. Two games to go, so you can never, ever be sure, can you? John, is that just one? I'm at the back. Well, Lorna. That's a great effort there from Lorna Shackleston. A really, really good effort from her there. Good bowling. Good close balls there this evening. I think uh, because it's Division 6, I think people think that people don't bowl close to the jack. Seeing balls further away in the first division. So they're still as competitive, of course, in the lower divisions. Right, let's have a look at, uh, at Keith here, Keith Hitchin. I think, if I'm not mistaken, Keith now is one of the longest uh, serving members of the club. I think he's bowled uh, probably longer than anyone else at the club now at the present. He uh, started as a youngster and continued to bowl for them. And of course was delighted to join the team again this season with the reintroduction of the, uh, the Mid-Cheshire team in the league. Is uh, what you could call a 100% through and through water and wreck bowler is Keith. Well, it's not too bad, Keith. Just on the edge of the green now. And this is opponent's ball coming in. There it is. Let's follow it in. Oh, well, that's a great ball. It is a good ball now. As I said, Division 6, but my goodness, good bowling. Yeah. Okay, what's happening here? Ooh, dear me, what a good bowl. What a good bowl. Peter Swindles on the left there, his wife Sheila. To the uh, Wharton Rec players. Oh, that's full of Chris Jackson's ball. What's happening here? Hey Chris, what have you done with it? Oh, that's an excellent ball. It's a great ball. 
What's certainly impressive is, is the standard here in Division 6. 3-7. That's it, one for Chris. There's uh, Keith Hitchin right, now again. It's a good ball from Keith, that. Right? At this end. Lies about 18 inches at the side of the jet. Get some names together in a minute or two. We'll just wander around the green a little bit and see if I can uh, find out some of the names of the opposition players. And Keith's still in now. Well, that was a very good effort from uh, his opponent now. Oh, Keith. Just left it short there. Yeah. He's just left it short. Not quite sure who's on there from my position here. Oh, Keith concedes. Right, here we go with Chris Jackson now. He's playing Eddie Riley. And at the present time, Chris is 14-5. 14-5 up on Eddie. And uh, also, let's have a look at the other cards here. There's Chris's card, being marked by Sheila Swindles. And uh, Lana Shekelston is 11-5 up on Jill Sandbrook. So it's looking good for Watton Wreck at the moment with these two. We'll have a little wander around the green and see if we can pick up on the other scores. But uh, Wharton Rex certainly seem on course this evening for their reasonable result. Right, I'll have a little wander around the other side and we'll see what the other cards are doing. I am laughing. Right, we're just looking at Peter Snelson's game What's there with uh, Keith Hitchin and the score at the present time here. As you can see with the scorecard, is, uh, Keith is 16 3 down with Peter. And uh, let's just have a look at the other game, which uh, Pauline's got here. And this one's, let's have a see what we've got. 9-6 uh, down. We've got 9-6 down. All that and is to uh, Sybil Street. Alright, catching, catching up on the scores there. Let's just have a look and see what Chris Jackson's doing. Playing Eddie Riley. Eddie... Uh, Player I've known for many years here at Cuddington. Get it, Norley. I mean, not at Cuddington. And uh, he uh, certainly knows Ball this green well. Well, Chris, what are you going to do with this one? Oh dear. Yeah, it's a bat ball. Two for Eddie. Hard luck there, Chris. Not quite sure he should have done that, really. But there we go. So it goes in bowling. Hang on, Keith. That's it. All right now, this is all happened over the far side of the green there. You want a couple of yards, Snap? And uh, Sybil. Oh. <laughs> Just sneaks in front of Paul's ball. This Paul's second. Well, he certainly adjusted his land. As long as it stays on the green, should be a good ball. I don't think it is going to do. Nope. Not a deal. Just goes off the green. Good land. Adjusted well. Just got his land wrong. Well, I think uh, by the looks of this, Sybil's going to take two off Paul here. That's a good length ball. Where is it? No, Sybil's done the same thing. Here me. Let Paul off there. Alright, we join the games again here as uh, Keith Hitchin bowls across the green. Peter Snelson, 17-4. On Keith, present time. Keith's got a good ball here. Yeah. Oh dear, just pegs out at the last minute. Just uh, pegs away. I think, uh, not sure, I think it may be two. 19-4 to uh, Peter.
And there we've got uh, Jill Sandbrook in the blue, Lorna Shekelston. 15 7 up for uh, Lorna at the moment. Lorna plays for Walton Wreck, of course. And uh, Jill has played for Norley for quite a number of years. Well, I wonder what uh, plans are being contrived there with those two. John Wells and uh, Brian Davis and a chat at the side of the green. What little spells are they contriving, I wonder. <laughs> right, let's have a look what's going on. John Wells, what can we say about John Wells? He's uh, uh, played uh, He's played uh, all his games, and I think he's won all his games in this division, which is hardly surprising for John. Uh, he is a, a good bowler, and uh, it doesn't surprise me whatsoever. Uh, what wreck, incidentally, have um, only lost one game all season. Norley have lost nine, and um, Kelso have lost six. They've all played 24 uh, games. I don't know what Sybil's waiting for here. Must be some balls in the way, I suspect. So, I'll move across here to Chris Jackson and uh, Eddie Riley. You must have been on every time I watched you. Eddie, what are we doing here? I thought you were murdering him. No, he bowled it very well, I didn't. Oh, that's a good ball. Good ball there from Eddie. Uh, One to Eddie there. Right, we uh, rejoin the games there now with Lynn McDonald playing young uh, Dylan Cocknell. 13 8 in favour of Lynn at the present time. Here's Pauline Evans. Cuttling across the green. No. And uh, again, just over his uh, Sheila Swindles got beat um, 13. With uh, Barbara. What did they get? 13, did it? Barbara Bryan. Yeah. Right. Just to. Uh, Rejoin the games there and uh, have a look who's played who uh, this evening. So we've got uh, Andrew Marshall, he's playing Brian Davis, James Dale, he's playing John Wells, Steve Owen, he's playing Roland Evans, and uh, Alan Street, he's playing Peter Swindles. Um, br uh, is it Brian Street and he's playing Josh Cotnell? Then McDonald, of course, with Dylan Cotnell. Alison Point is playing uh, Pauline Evans. Barbara Bryan, just seen playing Sheila Swindles. Peter Snelson. He played, of course. Uh, um, it's not easy to do there. It looks easy. It's not. Sybil Street and Paul Hatton. Funny pace, it's that Eddie Riley, Chris Jackson, Jill Sandbrook. Played Lorna Shackleston. And, of course, uh, Peter. Peter played. Um, Peter Snelson played the Keith Hitchin. Sorry about that. Couldn't quite see my paper here. Well, there we go. Peter Swindles here now, coming up to the camera, and uh, Peter, of course, is playing uh, <laughs> Alan Neal. Yeah. Sorry about that. I uh, couldn't quite see me. Uh, be yeah. Sorry about the uh, <laughs> reading there. It's hard to believe, but it's getting a little bit cold here. My glasses are misting up. <laughs> oh, devil here. Right, young Dylan. What have you done here, son? Is he a little bit tight? 
We always put far too much in it there, just don't. There's young, uh, young Josh Copnell. Chris Jackson there, uh, marking of course. Chris has played his game and won 19. So what wreck come out of this with a reasonable score tonight then? Tomorrow evening, the return game at Wharton Wreck should decide the league. At the moment, Wharton Wreck are favourites. They've got quite a few um, in reserve. And I would think that if they can just maintain a reasonable score tonight, then um, there's, um, well, there's one, two, three, three players to go on the green that I've got every... <coughs> every uh, trusting to sort of um, if not get 21 they'll certainly be way up in the uh, in the teens and that's all we need is a good result tomorrow good uh, win at Wharton Wreck and that'll just about sort it right here we've got Alison bowling up the green there Benoli Alison Owen, good ball from Alison there. Let's just uh, see what happens there. Oops, young uh, Dylan there, two down across the green. Come on, Dylan, get your game going, son. What's Alison doing here? That's oh, uh, one to uh, one to Sheila, oh, sorry Sheila. <laughs> one to Pauline, Pauline Evans. These glasses again. I'm going to have to uh, get a tissue out in a minute and give them a wipe. <laughs> All the consequences of getting older, of course. Eyesight goes, hearing goes, your knees go, your joints go. <laughs> Not a lot going for us, really, is there? make mistakes on the paper of who, who's playing out. <laughs> oh dear, never mind. I've got an excuse for my pension. Right, Pauline. Let's see uh, what you're doing there. I think you're a yard to far. Yep, not a bad bowler. Let's see what uh, Alison's reply is it? Yeah, good ball from Alison. Just about wins it. Let's see if Pauline can pull that yard out. Well, hear me, Pauline. That's a way to do it. <laughs> Some would say that was a lucky ball, but never up, never in. So, you know, it's an example to us all. Yes, it would have been off the green with a mess, but as it happens, Pauline's going to put two hands up. Put them on the card. Put them on the card. <laughs> yeah, how many times have we all had that done to us when we've had reasonable balls on? Right, here's young Josh. Young Josh Cotnell, 13 years of age, two brothers. Play for the, uh, the club. That is a good ball. Well done, son. That's a good ball, Josh. Good. Well, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? I don't think you can get past it. Nope. Come on, Josh, son. Good ball of this lad. I bowled him in the club championship at Watton Wreck a week or two back. And very impressive young lad. Well, look at that, there's another one. That makes two. See uh, what his opponent here does. That is short. Two for Josh. Good two, lad. Well done. Good balls. Right. Young uh, Josh here is playing Tony Streeton. His wife also bowls for uh, Finale. Well, 
Don't see there in it. That's not a bad bow. Just drifts the yard past the block. There, uh, finger peggy mark. See what happens here. Right, Tony's going to do the same thing. Yep, goes. He just drifts past Josh's ball. Oh, Josh, have you taken that bit out, son? He certainly has. Oh, yes. Just corrects it there slightly. Well, Tony. Goes out. Just goes out, that does. I think that's one for young Josh. It is. Well done. Everyone counts when you're uh, playing to win the league. Every single chalk counts. Doesn't matter if all the players in the team get beat as long as they get a reasonable score. Right, to rejoin the games now as uh, the last three are on the green. John Wells over uh, the far side of the green. Is uh, Brian Davis, and of course down at the bottom of the green, there uh, is Roland Evans. I'll catch up with the scores in a minute or two, and uh, we'll see what the games have ended up here. So here's uh, Brian Davis, who's playing uh, Andrew. Let's see what Brian's doing here. Come on, Brian, give it a chance. Oof. Just goes through. On to Brian. Brian's playing uh, Andrew Marshall this evening here at Norley. Pleasant evening. It seemed to go a little bit cool at one time, but uh, I must be acclimatised to it now because it seems quite quite pleasant. Just after nine o'clock in the evening, here on the 22nd of September, and of course it's the Mid Cheshire League, Division Six game between Horton Rec and uh, Norley B. It's still uphill after that Lowley, it's take a big yard that will still. It's still all uphill. Big yard wins it you. Yeah. Well, Andrew's ball short there, giving Brian Davis a chance to, uh, to win this end. Well Brian, you got to fill that gap in. A lot of space there. Yeah, better ball this time. See what uh, Andrew Marshall can do about it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, a bit more up there. Paul. Another one to Brian Davis. Brian's 15-17 uh, down against Andrew Marshall and uh, just balling up towards the high corner of the green in fact Brian sent the block off sent the jack off here's Roland Evans balling for Walton Rack good ball from his opponent there good lead ball Roland's uh, just a yard short <coughs> Big crown on this screen, it seems to really swing as you can see there. Really big swing on the green. The thing is, if you get too much outside land, well, Roland, have you got it right this time? Well, he's certainly on the look. Oh, that's a great effort! Absolute great effort there. Come in yep. All right, good, lead. good ball in front of us from Brian Davis. Brian uh, has bowled also at Wharton Rec for quite a number of years. Rejoined the club again this season in the Mid Cheshire League. Well, Andrew Marshall's uh, ball just gone in there. John Mills. Seems to have got his act together now. All good bones. Well, Brian Davis, can you do it? Can you get the inside of it? No. Dear me, just stays outside. 
I was rather hoping that would have uh, pegged down the inside of it, but uh, it wasn't to be. Oh dear, this could be too. This could be too. I'm on camera. Two down. Two down. Right, we join with John Wells now. 17.14 in front of uh, John Wells's. And um, Brian Davis at the present time is 17.19 behind. That's a good lead ball from Brian there. Good lead. There's uh, Andrew Marshall there replying. Well, it's begging a bit early for me, that is. Definitely. Great ball from John Wells on the right here. I'm just sticking with uh, Brian Davis's end here, but John Wells has just pulled an absolute pearler. And Brian puts the second one in. All right. Andrew's decided uh, he's going to try and play through at least. Oh, is it the block clean off the green? Yeah. It's a good hit, I suppose. This line was lying too there. But there we are. That's part of the game. Well, let's see what John Mills is going to do here. Right, we'll just have a look at John Mills again here. Like these last four of all John's bowled well. an absolutely superb lead ball. Yeah. Just got to put another one with it now. Well, He's concentrating. I thought the first one's bad, but it didn't get much easier, has it, as it's gone on? They were strong, uh, yeah. 12, that's why they mm. where they are. Yeah. I think they've got the second best average. Well, that's a good ball from John Miles. Ball, John Good boy. ball. See what the, just the Dale as a ball it can do here. Well, two to the jump. Good two to jump. Good bowling. Right. See what Andrew and uh, this is, yeah. Brian are doing here. John Wells is all but 14 up at the moment. And what's Brian doing? John's all but I think he's in. Bra marking Brian's card, but he's John taking a good hard loop there at this end. I think they were that far away actually. Great. I think we might just have to get the long measures out. Yeah, not too bad. They're both staring, but the easiest thing to do, of course, is to get the measures out. Right, while they're doing that, let's come across to John Mills here. Young's uh, just bowled across the green. Good ball. Yeah, dead level ball. About a foot at the side of the block. We'll just uh, see what his opponent's going to do here. Two colts. No chance of it getting to me. No. And then, and long jumps underneath. Right. Not well, short for me, point? that is. I need it to keep Definitely it short. <laughs> John just needs to put another one here in front of it. Just needs to put a short ball in front of the jack. What's he doing? Well, oh, he's put another one outside of it, and that could be lethal. I think he might. He's all booked, so he's going to have a go. If he'd come, he'd probably end it. What's it doing? Well, that's a great effort. John Wells wins. A great performance by him there. One of the uh, most experienced of what Rex bowlers. It's a great performance from him. Well done, John. All oh, right. How long have you been? Just five days. Come back because I've got to be awake Saturday morning. Eight o'clock in work and I'll land at 20 to 6. So I'll just about make it 20 to 6, 20 to 7. Obviously, Brian will not end down there. The one that we're measuring. It's going to fall to stray one here. That's an impressive Brian, that one. They've all played well this last four as well. They've got a good last four on here. Well, there's Andrew's ball. It's going to be marginally better than Brian's, but only marginally. That way in the yard, Brian. Big yard and that way. It's got to improve on those. Well, it's better land altogether. Well, better road. Length, Just got to get a length oh, now. Like this, Certainly. Sure. Yep. 
Well, it goes in, but still room there. There's still room for a holster. This could go off, Brian. It's coming with a race of knots, lad. No, it's a winner. Oh, you're right. Just so it's all but 18 here uh, to uh, Andrew Marshall. Oh, I'm just bald there. Uh, good uh, Oh, I Joshua Cotton a lot. Well, Brown. Yeah. yeah, just a touch too much, as Ryan commented there. Just didn't give it a chance to uh, back down. Well, we stopped going to the first time I went to the school. Well, Brian, any peg in them? That's a great ball. Good ball, Brian. That's a good ball. Brian balls the block up here to, uh, to mirror the camera position. Very convenient. I'm actually done here. It's not too bad. Just uh, lies about a yard wide. Well, it's a good ball for his opponent there. Come on, Brian. What have you done? He's starting to do it. Is he here? He's not here. No, he's not here. Game over. All but 19. All but 19, Brian. Well played. Well, that's it. Hope you've enjoyed your uh, little look at Division 6 in the Mid Cheshire League here at Norley and um, on the, uh, the video on YouTube. I'll put the scores up and the individual scores so that you can see the information from the game. So thanks for joining me here at uh, Norley Bowling Club here in Mid Cheshire. So uh, goodbye for, uh, for now from me, Barry Gibson.